The 29th movement of this form is another move that's brand new to us, at least in this form. Fortunately, like the last move of this form, this movement is also very simple. As always, I'm going to demonstrate this movement first as if I'd started the form facing you. So directly toward you is south, to my left is east. From our last movement, we're left facing to the east, rooted in the right leg, left foot barely touching the floor, right fingertips diving toward the floor, left palm pushing toward the floor next to the left leg. From here, you're going to push up with the right leg, pick up the left leg, bringing up the knee as high as you can comfortably, and raising the arms. You want the palms facing each other here, so they're both pointed in toward the center line, and the hands are separate, but the right hand is in line with the elbow this way. So they're not touching each other, but they're in line with each other. When you're here, you want to make sure that your torso is turned a little bit. So it's not straight on toward the east, it's turned to the right. From here, you step forward with the left foot touching with the heel, and you're going to start to rotate the hands. So the left hand turns palm down, and the right hand, as it finishes this move, is going to go all the way up, palm facing toward the south and slightly up. So you start that rotation as you step out, and the left hand just turns palm down. Now the left arm is extended almost completely straight, so there's just a slight bend in the arm, and the right arm is bent more with the body turned so that the hand lines up with the elbow. So from here, step to the east, hands start to turn. Then as you shift forward, you settle the wrist on the left side to push and raise the right arm. Let's run through that again. Facing to the east from our last movement. We're going to come up, picking up the left leg, bringing up the arms. Palms are facing each other, right hands in line with the left elbow. Step forward with the left foot, touching with the heel as the hands turn. And as you shift forward, settle the left wrist to push and lift up with the right hand. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is south for me directly away from you is east. Our last movement of the form left is facing east. From here, you come up, raising the left leg, bringing the arms up. Notice how this right arm's rounded out to the right a little bit. It's not dropped in close, it's open, and my body is twisted to the right a little. From here, I step forward, touching with the heel, and as I shift, I push with the left, lift up with the right. Again, from our last movement of the form, come up, lifting the left leg, raising the arms to shoulder height. Step forward, shift, and push. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I had started the form facing away from you. So directly away from you south to our left is east. The last movement of the form left us facing to the east. From here you come up. Raise the arms and raise the left leg. Step forward, shift, and push. From our last movement of the form, facing to the east, you're going to push up, picking up the left leg, raising the arms. Step forward, shift, and push. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is south, and directly toward you is east. From our last movement of the form, come up, raising the arms. Notice the difference between these arms. There's space between them. This one's rounded out a little bit to the side. And my body's not straight forward, it's turned. From here, I step forward with the left foot touching with the heel. As I'm stepping, I'm going to turn the hands. And then as I shift, I just extend and push. Again, from our last movement of the form, needle at seat bottom, come up lifting the left knee, raising the arms in front, making sure the torso is twisted to the right side. Step out with the left heel as you're stepping, turn the hands so that the palm is down with the left hand. This hand is starting to rotate into position here, but it hasn't really raised much. And then as you shift forward, this one finishes, raising up, the right hand goes up, and the left palm settles. Again, from our last movement of the form, sink down. Our new movement starts here, we push up, lifting the left knee, raising the arms. From here, the palms are facing each other. I'm going to step forward with the left foot, and as I step, I turn the hands so that the left hand turns palm down, and the right hand starts to turn palm out so it can finish turning as it goes up. So from here, I step, turn the palms, shift, push. For a closer view of the hands, for my last movement, 
we have the right hand fingertips toward the floor, left hand palm toward the floor. As they come up, they're going to lead with the wrists. So they aren't just coming up with the fingers forward, the wrists are leading, and the fingertips are tilted down slightly as they come up. So as they come up with the fingertips tilted down slightly and the wrists leading, you turn the torso to line the right hand up with the left elbow here. So I'm not coming up this way, I'm coming up this way. So my right shoulder drops back, my left shoulder pushes out a little bit so that there's this difference in the hands. Once I'm there, the hands are gonna rotate as I step. So this one's starting its path up, and this one's just turning so that the palm's toward the floor, that way I can settle the wrist as I shift forward. So I have the push here and the lift on this side rotating up. Again from here, step with the left as you're stepping, start to turn the hands, and then as you shift, push. That's all for the 29th move of this form. As always, I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching.